hi Maggie from the blog back to the land living and in today's video I'm going to give you guys an update on our off-grid cabin build. So this is the third video in the series of us building our off-grid cabin. The first one was all about our plans and our blueprints and the second was all about building our road and our foundation and so I'll link to those if you're interested in checking them out. But today is all about how we have framed up our house. So this process has been fun but it's taken us a little while. We've been working for maybe a month or so on the framing portion of this build and the house has really been coming to life and we've enjoyed that process to actually see our plans come to life and it's been really fun. So I'm gonna walk you through how we have built this house from the ground up. So after our foundation was in, we first put on our beams that would be our supporting beams for underneath the house. And these beams we first had to, well we put two by tens together to make a three by 10 for our beam. And then we drilled holes up the middle of them to line up with the rebar that was in our foundation tube so that they would be centered and then it would be solid so it wouldn't be shifting as we lived in our house and as we built the house. So we first got those beams on, they were really heavy, but they we got them on and they worked out good. So after we had the beams on, we then went ahead and started building the floor joists. And after we had our floor joists, we then put some plywood down to build our floor. After we had the floor done, it was really exciting for us. We actually had a little dance party down here in the evening with my little sister and it was fun. So everything for the base layer of the house, so the beams and the floor joists and the plywood, we actually just had to buy that out of the regular store. But then as we went up for the walls, we actually found uh, some people on Kijiji that were selling wood that they had milled off local wood that they had cut and milled that they were going to be using for a cabin that was about the same size as our cabin but they decided not to and they had been sitting there for three years but they had it stacked really well so me and my grandfather went out and checked it out and we actually were able to buy that lumber and it probably is about 75 percent of the wall structure for the first and second floor was from that wood and we were able to get a great deal on that and then some of the wood we also using in this build my uncle has a sawmill in um, the next city up from us and we got our main beam so our really nice exposed beams he did for us in hemlock and so we're really glad about that that we could have it in family and he could build it for us and so they're beautiful and we're glad we get to leave them exposed some of them and so to start with the walls the exterior walls are a two by six wall just because we need the insulation since we're in Canada and it's cold <laughs> and so the downstairs what we first did to start with our walls is that we built the wall flat on the ground and got it all framed up and built up and then we took many hands to lift up the wall and then secure in place with braces and screw it to the ground. So we first had to get our outside exterior walls all framed up and up and standing and we secured them together. So after we have a wall stood up, we took the level and had to make sure it was level and put a brace on so that our house was nice and square. And we first did our downstairs walls. The walls that had windows in them, we need to frame in the window and put the header in and the jacks and all that stuff. And so I personally don't know all the ins and outs of building a house or cabin, but I am very blessed with three men in my life that do. I have my husband's a carpenter, my grandfather is a semi-retired carpenter, and my father used to be a carpenter. So we have a lot of people in my life that uh, know a lot about carpentry, so I'm so, so thankful that God has blessed me with those people in my life. And so if you have any questions any about how we framed up our cabin, you can leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer you, but I might not know all all the technical things of what we did because there's a lot to building a cabin as you probably know.
the downstairs walls all framed up and stood up and squared. We then had to put the beams on for the second story. And so we have a part of the loft is exposed. And so we had some exposed beams. And so we had some really nice wood that I mentioned we got from my uncle. And we are really happy, the beautiful hemlock. And so we put those beams up, but they're beautiful. <laughs> they're also really heavy. So <laughs> Eric's father and his brother came over and helped me and my dad and grandfather put these up. They were extremely heavy beams, but they look really nice now they're in place. And so with all of the man and woman power, we put them up and put them along where they were going to be exposed. And then we also put on just the regular two by tens for the floor joists. They didn't need to be as beautiful because they were just up top. So they're going to be in the ceiling of the back section of our cabin. And so we put the rest of those up. So we had the floor joists for the second story. And then we got to move up to our second story. So when we started framing up our second story, we again built the walls laying down and then it propped them up and leveled them, squared them, and braced them. And our walls, you may have noticed for our second story, are only a two by four. And that's because we just used the wood we had from those guys that we bought it off Kijiji, which is, if you're not from Canada, it's like a Craigslist or like a secondhand place and online. And so we just used the wood that we had and we had a lot of two by fours, more than we needed, and we didn't have enough two by sixes. So what we did is we're we made initially the walls right now are two by four upstairs, but this winter, as we have time and we're working inside the cabin, we're just gonna rip some extra two by fours in half and put them on the face of those two by fours to make a two by six wall. We might actually even, if we have enough, just leave them full two by four and have an eight inch wall in some places where it doesn't look weird, just to give extra insulation. I wouldn't recommend this method if you're building a cabin. We're just doing it because we're just using what we had and that's the only reason. It's a lot more work, so I wouldn't recommend it. But that's what we did because we had the materials. So we got our walls up. Upstairs, our walls are only five feet. Downstairs, they're seven feet walls, but because they have the exposed floor joists, it's eight feet to where your head would be on the exposed part, so it doesn't feel as short. But upstairs, it's only a five foot wall, which is fine for me because I'm short, but for Eric, he's a bit taller. <laughs> so where the stairs went up, we realized that our head was going to hit, and so we had to make a little jut out. And so we have a little dormer on that side to make it so no one hits their head going up the stairs. And then the other side has a little shed roof. And so we got those walls all stood up, and it looked like it was really coming along. We got the windows framed up, and we only did the side walls. We didn't do the end walls yet. So after we had the side walls framed up for the upstairs, we then moved on to doing the rafters. And for the rafters, we actually built them ourselves. This is something you kind of need to know what to do, and since my father and grandfather knew what to do, they taught me and Eric how to do them. And so we built our own rafters. They're actually a little bit complicated because we have a shed roof on one side and a dormer on the other side. And so they're a little bit complicated, but we built them. It was quite time consuming to build your own rafters, but we did it. And they're all up now and they look great. And so we have those all in. And lately what we've been working on is putting on the roof. to do still for this winter we still have to finish boarding in 
all the walls that are framed up that haven't been boarded in yet doors on and we're not actually going to be doing our windows this year we just framed them up and we're just going to be putting plastic on them to keep the snow out this year then this winter as we have time we'll pick away at things inside so we only have a couple interior walls up uh, inside of our house so we have another room to frame up downstairs so we'll be working on that this winter as we have time and the weather is not nice outside we can work on those things inside and so our plan is that we'll be in our cabin our goal is by next Christmas so we still have a year and a while to work on it and next year once it's summer again we'll be working on putting the siding on it finishing up things outside putting in the windows things like that and so as we have more going on I'll be updating you how our cabin build is going I'll probably have one more video this year to show you the roof and show you the finished boarded in house maybe you do a little walk around tour of what our goal is for the cabin and what the roof will be like so I think that's what my next video will be and that'll probably be one of our last videos for the cabin build this year and then we'll pick up again with them next year so if you have any questions of how we have been building our cabin we'd love to hear them you can let us know in the comments I'll do my best to get back to you this is our off-grid cabin so this cabin has no septic and no well and so next year as we get to things like inside stuff we'll be going into more of what we're going to be doing for that actually our water tank because it's going to be no well we're going to have a water tank and we're going to need to put that inside the cabin before the front walls go on because it's too big to go through any doorways so that will be in my next video showing you my our water tank for our rain collection system so thank you so much for being here. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you like this content and enjoy watching us build our cabin, we'd love to have you subscribe. And if you click the notification bell, you'll see when my next video comes up. And so thank you so much for being here. We hope you have a great day and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.